there are certain boundaries that I need to set for myself. Um, and I respect and adore so many people, um, but I gotta do what's best for you. Selena Gomez is setting the record straight on why she turned down Justin Bieber's proposal, and fans are now saying that this changes the whole narrative about the Selena, Justin, Haley love triangle. There's been a lot of speculation lately that Justin Bieber only wanted to get married so that he could get U.S. citizenship, and he allegedly first asked Selena, but when she turned him down, he ran back to Haley. The reason Justin Bieber, Bieber even rekindled with Selena, not even Haley was to get married so that he could stay in the U.S. But if Justin really proposed to Selena, why did she turn him down? And did Justin really marry Haley so he could stay in the U.S.? It was a choice that I wasn't necessarily happy that I made, but I, but I think that I've done my best at least. I've I tried to be myself. The ongoing conversation surrounding Justin and Hailey Bieber's marriage recently took another turn when fans discovered possible evidence that Justin only married Hailey so he could become a U.S. citizen. Meanwhile, several sources also reported that back in 2018, Justin first proposed to Selena, but she turned him down. Now, before we discuss Justin's alleged plan to become a U.S. citizen through marriage, here's some context in case you're confused about the timeline. As you all probably know, Justin and Selena had an on-again, off-again relationship that went on for almost a decade. And keep in mind that Selena dated Justin during his wild child era, when he was constantly getting into trouble with the law. Starting in 2013, Justin's teenage heartthrob image started falling apart as a result of numerous controversies. To mention just a few, Justin illegally purchased a pet monkey and then abandoned him in Germany. He vomited on stage, was filmed urinating in a bucket at a restaurant, physically attacked his own bodyguard and limo driver, and claimed that World War II victim Anne Frank would have been a believer. And the list goes on. And then in 2014, Justin started calling himself Bizzle, wearing gold, thick chains, and basically trying really hard to project a tough guy image. Y'all be sleeping, man. Y'all sleeping, man. <laughs> Wake up, bruh. It's time to smell the roses. In October 2014, HuffPost even published an article titled The Transformation of Justin Bieber from a white youth to a black man. And the article called out Justin for being another white artist to benefit from black culture and style without the burdens of racial disadvantage. And then after Justin was arrested in Miami for DUI, someone decided to start a petition to revoke Justin's green card and deport him back to Canada. And the petition received almost 300,000 signatures. However, this still wasn't enough to make Justin change his ways. And his legal problems continued. After settling his DUI case, Justin was charged with a misdemeanor for throwing eggs at his neighbor's home, and the judge sentenced him to two years probation and ordered him to complete 12 weeks of anger management. However, just months later, Justin was arrested again and charged with assault and dangerous driving near his hometown of Stratford, Ontario. Around this time, a video emerged of a 14-year-old Justin using the N-word while telling a joke. Why are black people afraid of chainsaws? Don't even say it. Don't say it. <laughs> and then a second video leaks showing Justin singing a parody of his song One Less Lonely Girl and again using a racial slur. One less lonely n <laughs> One less lonely n <laughs> One less lonely n There's gonna be one less <laughs> If I kill you, I'll be part of the KKK Then there'll be one less lonely n <laughs> There'll gonna be one less lonely <laughs> Now, while all of this was going on, Justin and Selena were constantly breaking up and making up, and the worst part is the tabloids would often blame Selena for Justin's behavior. In fact, sources close to Justin ran to the tabloids claiming that Justin was acting out because he was heartbroken over Selena sending him mixed messages. However, this was Justin's side of the story, and according to Selena, she was the victim in this relationship. In 2020, Selena told NPR that Justin subjected her to emotional abuse while they were dating, and it took her a long time to realize what was going on. It's dangerous to stay and um, a victim mentality. And I'm not being disrespectful. I do feel I was a victim to certain abuse. When asked if she meant emotional abuse, Selena responded, yes. But that's not all. We're now hearing that Justin may have manipulated Selena into giving him another chance shortly before their last breakup in 2018. By that point, Justin's legal problems had caught up with him, and he and his team allegedly made a plan for Justin to marry a U.S. citizen so he could stay in the country. Fans have been speculating about this for a while, and even major media outlets reported on this after Justin and Selena reconciled in late 2017. In fact, in December, 
December 2017, paparazzi asked Justin if he was planning a proposal, and though he didn't confirm or deny it, he couldn't hide the huge smile on his face. Justin, are you going to propose to Selena Gomez? You guys make a really good couple. I see that smile. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. <laughs> For a few months, Justin and Selena seemed to be going strong. However, in March 2018, news broke that they were taking a break again. It initially was unclear why exactly they decided to take a break, but it didn't take long before the break turned into a breakup. However, in April 2018, a source close to Justin told People Magazine that Justin still loves Selena and wants her back. Celeb gossip account Dumois also recently claimed that Justin was so desperate for Selena to take him back that he kept calling her to tell her he loved her, right up until the moment he started dating Haley Baldwin. I'm um, Justin 1000% behaved as though he was devastated that he and Selena were breaking up again and that he would never get over her and always love her and was telling her things to that effect as recently as the same week he started dating Haley. But why was Justin so desperate for Selena to take him back? If they were really on break, like the reports initially claimed, why was he pressuring her so much to reconcile? Well, Justin wasn't a U.S. citizen at the time, and he reportedly needed a quick fix to stay in the U.S. since his visa was expiring and he had a lot of issues because of his past run-ins with the law. According to Post Hump Podcast, Justin found himself in major trouble in early 2018 and almost got kicked out of the U.S., which meant that he would have to sell his masters and basically lose his main source of income. Where is Justin Bieber from? Where is he a citizen? Toronto. Canada. 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 What happens when you have a work visa and you have a criminal charges against you? Can you apply to be a U.S. citizen? No. You have to be married. What happens if you are basically kicked out of the U.S. and all of your income is from is from the U.S.? What do you have to do? You have to apply for a work visa and you have to... No, you have to sell your master's. You have oh, to sell all shit. of it. I see the motive here. It's pretty clear. Yeah. So the reason Justin Bieber, Bieber even rekindled with Selena, not even Haley, was to get married so that he could uh -huh. stay in the U.S. However, Selena apparently turned down Justin's proposal, so Justin had to move on to Plan B, aka Haley Baldwin. Now, by that point, Justin and Haley already had some history, and everyone, including Justin, knew that Haley was obsessed with him. So, less than three months after Justin publicly claimed that he loved Selena and wanted her back, news broke that Justin proposed to Haley, and she said yes. Fans have also recently started speculating that Justin himself hinted at marrying Haley to get a visa when he appeared in the music video for Drake and DJ Khaled's song, Pop Star Mouthing to the Lyrics, Ariana, Selena, My Visa. Ariana, Selena, My Visa. Besides that, fans are also saying Justin never seems genuinely happy around Haley, and Justin himself recently admitted that he had an emotional breakdown after getting married because he falsely believed marriage would solve all his problems. First got married, I hit a little bit of an emotional breakdown because I thought marriage was gonna fix all my problems. It's hard sometimes to look in the mirror and really have to realize, man, you, maybe you're not the person that you necessarily thought that you were. But going back to Selena, why did she turn down Justin's rumored proposal? How come she called it quits with Justin so quickly after they reconciled? Well, according to Dumois, this wasn't exactly Selena's plan. However, she apparently discovered that Justin was still in contact with Haley shortly after they reconciled, and she decided to choose herself and her own happiness. Fast forward to May 2018, while still dating Selena, Justin started talking to Haley. Selena found out and ended it. And while Selena never publicly accused Justin of cheating on her with Haley, in May 2018, just one month after Justin publicly admitted he still loved her and wanted her back, a source close to Selena told Us Weekly that Selena was done and she chose happiness over Justin. Selena started seeing the bigger picture when it came to their relationship. Like, what was more important? Her general happiness and her family and friends' approval? or her being together with Justin where no one really supported their relationship, the source explained. The insider went on to say that Selena obviously chose happiness and her friends and family and is so thrilled about her decision-making process. Fans are now saying that Selena clearly made the right decision, but they're also feeling sorry for Haley because they're convinced Justin manipulated her and married her for selfish reasons. One fan commented, So glad Selena Gomez didn't end up marrying Justin Bieber. She deserves better. He's a master manipulator, another fan said. He's using Haley to get a U.S. citizenship which he will be able to apply for after five years of marriage in September 2022.
three. Once he gets it, he's gonna divorce her. I feel really bad for Haley and him using religion to manipulate her. He's like one of those fake preachers that preaches one thing but does awful things in reality. But do you believe this theory that Justin married Haley for US citizenship? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time.